Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today it's not a review, it's Monday. So it's not a reaction rather. Um, on a Monday, I generally try and do non-reactions. So today it's having a look at this book. Now I have read it and I think it's lovely. I think it's a beautiful read and I wanted to put it up on my channel just to introduce it to you because it's brand new out. If you're in America, you can buy it from lots of different places. I'll put it in the description bar below. But in the UK and Europe, you can buy it from Strictly Elvis, the Elvis Presley Travel Service, and it's getting to you for £27.95. I think it's around about that point. And um, that's free shipping. It's a little bit more for Europe, obviously, because they're sending you it from the UK. Now, um, if you want those links, I'll put them down in the description bar. Follow the link to buy it. Now, I completely and utterly recommend this book. I think it's glorious. Now, this is called Unlocked, and it's memoirs of Elvis's first girlfriend, Dixie Locke. Now, it's really, really nice. If you buy it from Strictly Elvis, they give you a little bookmark as well, and that is their logo at the bottom. If you're looking for them on Facebook, that is how it looks on Facebook. So yeah, I thought this was really, really nice. And when I bought my um, Destined to Die Young, they also sent a bookmark with that too. Now, Strictly Elvis also sell that by Sally Hodel. I totally recommend it. My mother-in-law has it just now. She's reading it, so I can't show you it. But um, it's on my channel already. I did review it. Now, this is just a beautiful read. I read it when I went off on my Elvis holiday and it took me one hour. <laughs> now, if you have a look inside, you'll see why. Now... These are bigger spaces, they're bigger words, so really easy, really easy book to read. Um, I'm dyslexic, so books can take me a little bit of time. This did not take me any time at all. I think because of the spacing and because of the words, how big they were. It's just a lovely, gentle read on my eyes, which I need being dyslexic. Um, it's lovely. There's just so many nice things in here, all about Dixie's life. Dixie comes from a really strong um family um family who a uh, mum and dad who were together for many many years and she tells us about that and i just think that's beautiful she tells them about our life because it's written by her daughter so her daughter um speaks to us about her mother and it's just lovely it's it's really gentle and beautiful and um, priscilla presley writes the foreword to this they are great friends. Priscilla and Dixie are absolutely wonderful friends and have been friends for many years. And it's lovely to see how close they are. Also on the back, Jack Sodden from Elvis Presley Enterprises and Ethan Hawke, the actor, also um, recommends this book. Um, it's lovely. There's lots of talk of religion. Dixie's religious, very much like Elvis. And um, that's very beautiful to read. Their solid base um, as their, her mum and dad, the solid base of her family um, with her um, Bobby, her husband, who um, yeah, who she becomes married to and yeah, he, he's the light of her life and her children. So there's lots of warmth, happiness, um, religion, God, so much of that in there. But there's also a little sprinkle of Elvis. So they were girlfriend and boyfriend and she'd seen a lot in Elvis's life. Now I don't want to divulge too much but she was there at Scotty's house when they were like practicing their songs. <laughs> like amazing. And he would look over him if because she said he never forgot the lyrics but if he'd occasionally forget something she would look over at Dixie and Dixie would fill in the word. So um, yeah lots of good things like that. When Elvis lost his mother Straight away he phoned Dixie and Dixie came to the funeral, went to Graceland. There's lots of things in there about it. Um, also going back a little bit when they went to the prom. And they always went to the prom and he brought her a corsage and just little things like that. It's just gorgeous. There's some beautiful pictures in here as well. Like, oh there. So the bells of the ball, that's Elvis and um, Dixie at the prom. It's just really, really nice. And then there's lots of um, letters that... Actually, it was Elvis Presley Enterprise that sent to Dixie that they found um, in, when they're looking through Elvis's things, they'd found them. And they were all the little letters that she had wrote to Elvis. And they're just the sweetest little things to read. So, for example, hello, darling. I'm sitting here waiting on my one and only love, you, to come. I've been thinking about you all day, as I always do. 
Darling, I love you so much. I honestly believe I'd go crazy if you ever left me. I know life wouldn't be worth living without you. I count the seconds until I can be with you again. I can hardly get my schoolwork done for thinking about you. You're on my mind all the time. Well, I guess I had better clothes for now, but please believe me when I say I love you more than anyone else in the world. Love you, Dixie. That was March 19th, 1954, and her address was 224 Lucy Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> and there's a load of them. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. I think it's gorgeous. Um, other little bits in here is when they went to see the Blackwood Brothers, they'd go and listen to them sing. Um, there's just so many, so many interesting things. And then also in here you would have, so for example, R.W. Blackwood Jr. He then writes about it. So he would say, I was at my house out in my front yard um, in Winton Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee. And I heard the sound of motorcycles. It was Elvis with Natalie Wood behind him on his motorcycle. Nick Adams, the rebel TV star, followed on his Harley. And even several more men on motorcycles. Elvis said, hello, Winston. He always called me Winston. I just wanted my friends from Hollywood to see how my hero, R.W. Blackwood, lived. Wow, it was November 1st, 1956. So little things like that. There's people in here talking about their, um, their life with Elvis or their meets with Elvis. So it's not just Dixie. And I really enjoyed all of those little things. But obviously they're all a part of Dixie's story. And I just thought it was a really, really nice thing. Elvis with the Blackwood Brothers. And that's obviously J.D. Sumner with Elvis. I just think it's lovely. So yeah, I really really enjoyed it it's a beautiful gentle read and um lots of lovely little bits from dixie she's a glorious woman and you can tell why elvis would have loved her and you can tell why priscilla loves her as well and why they've become firm friends because she's just gorgeous um the last lines which i thought were absolutely beautiful and i wanted to read them to you um as you get older it's easier to be positive I don't question myself anymore. I've earned the right to be wrong. I'm getting older. It set me free. I like the person I've become. A dutiful wife, mother of three beautiful children, grandmother of a darling grandson and a beautiful granddaughter. I know I'm not going to live forever, but while I'm still here, I will not waste time lamenting on what, what could have been. My life's journey has taken me on many twists and turns, even a few unexpected detours. No matter the path, I am certain my ultimate destination in heaven will include a grand reunion with our dear families, the Locks, the Amons and the Presleys, all sitting around the banquet table where peanut butter and banana sandwiches are sure to be on the menu. <laughs> and I just thought it was glorious. So yeah, that's a little bit about it. I don't want to divulge too much because I really, really, really encourage you to buy this. It's a hardback. It feels really nice. And it's just a lovely thing to have on your table and to be amongst all my other Elvis books. But yeah, I think Dixie's wonderful and I think their relationship is beautiful. And yeah, I love it. So thanks so much, Dixie, and to Dixie's daughter for writing this. For an Elvis fan way over the pond in Scotland, reading this was an absolute joy. And I want to say thanks so much to you both ladies and to Dixie for loving Elvis so beautifully. It's wonderful. And yeah, thanks so much for sharing your story. Take care of yourself and have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye everyone.